All right, so looking at the uh, uh, this image here, uh, Fakale Lathia uh, asked me to kind of give him some feedback and some critique on it. Um, so the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that um, you want to stay away from the building blocks. And so what I mean by the building blocks are the you know basic primitives of your 3D modeling program so that you can have a little bit more um, a little bit more interest going on um, because right now I look at this and I see it's a cube it's you know two shears this is actually um, you know got some some design in it some detail in it but in all reality it's pretty much just the same thing over and over over again so what I would say is if if you are um, you know, you're in a sci-fi environment, things like that, and you want to um, kind of cut down on some of this this type of thing. You know, get rid of the pillars, uh, get rid of the, you know, the rolling chair, things like that. If you're going to make it sci-fi, go all out with it. And so here's just some things that I would do. Um, the first thing I would do is... Actually, let's control zero this, and there we go. Okay, so the first thing that I would do is I would take this, um, and I'm just going to paint on this new layer, and I'm going to just really quickly block out um, kind of the detail of the scene here, and I'm just kind of roughing this out real quick here. Add some this in there. Um, Let's add some weird shadows going on, something like this. Um, and so as I build, you know, as I'm just blocking this out, as I'm just kind of getting some of this, some of this detail gone, um, what I'm doing now is, you know, and then I can put in kind of pipes and I can add in some, let's add in some dots up here and um, things like that. So what I'm doing is I'm, creating the basic composition of this is now coming from the ceiling all right and then i'm going to oops grab up some of the shadows here and you know you can do shapes you can do you know wires um you know we've got some pipes uh you can Put in some underlying border stuff. I mean, you can really, you know, kind of invent something interesting up there. So now with that in there, you know, with that kind of design concept in there, let's add some pipes, things like that. Um, so with that design and concept in there, now I can get rid of this type of thing. So I'm just going to kind of paste out this and we're just going to kind of blur this out here just kind of okay so and I'm going to do the same thing with this over here uh, let's add in something like that and I'm just kind of roughing this out so it's it's gone from from the scene um, same thing over here I would just add in now let's continue this and so by taking these things out and I'm just like I said I'm really just roughing this in here just to, to give you an idea of what's going on here but to take these things out what's happening is now I'm opening up the background to create a little bit more interest going on and I think that's really your, your major feature of this is you know you want to break apart your scenery all right so because right now you've got your foreground element and you've got a kind of a background element and as I break this apart as I take this out um, you can start seeing that by taking some of this stuff out now I'm building up a little bit more depth and a little bit more interest in the scene here. Put a doorway here, and we can put block that out. 
I start painting out stuff like that. Let's add that line in there. And so by doing this, by doing this, you can definitely see some of that information now creating a little bit more enrichment, right? Let's paste this in there and we're just going to paste that in there. Okay, so by taking that out, by by taking that out and opening up, it, I open up the scene and it makes more sense. And then if you're going to have robotics in here, you, you need to think about construction. All right, so thinking about construction is, is a huge aspect. And I know a lot of a lot of uh, new beginners with 3D just rely on the primitive shapes. And it's simple things. Like you've got the start here. You've got this kind of pillar here. But adding in a little bit more shape to it, um, you know, roundness, uh, you know, kind of up here, we can add in add in some of the shape going on. So now, um, you know, it looks a little bit more realistic. Um, it doesn't it doesn't have that tiled pattern on. And then use this light to create contrast and interest. You know, by you can actually point this light down and really kind of focus on your character. And so you see how that kind of builds up that interest. And so you can use a, like a volumetric fog to build that up, or you can just hand paint it in there with, with some information in there. Um, and then, like I said, I, this chair is, you know, the chair is, is boring. It's, it's uh, you know, just kind of like a 3D model thrown in there. And if you're going to do a chair, don't just do a chair. Do something, you know, fantastic. Um, you know, we can put in the hoverboard style chair going on here with kind of a ball going on. And, and let's add some of this in there things like that. Um, let's give it some arm sides here and we're just gonna grab some arms like that and you know put in a little bit of a depth shadow down there. I'm just gonna trim some of this out here. But if you put in that depth shadow in there now it feels like it's floating. Um, you know we can add some of these lights on here um, you know like that. Uh, maybe even maybe even some of those blue lights on the back here and that gives it a sense that it's, it's more of a, a tech chair now. Let's erase. There we go. So now you've got you've got it at, you've given it the sense of now you're in a 3D environment and things are starting to um, you're in a, a fantasy environment and things are starting to kind of uh, basically push out as you will. Um, and we're going to erase this stuff here because it's again the same thing, repetition. And then don't do box doorways. You know, you're in sci fi, so think about how sci fi would build things. Um, and, and simple, you know, simple like adding a, a little bevel on a door is going to add that much more scenery to it. Um, and then you know now it it becomes this now it becomes this I've got this uh, kind of concept going on that basically you know separates elements together, um, and I would even add another level of dimension to it by adding in you know maybe some foreground elements um, you know something even darker up here. Uh, just going to, you know, kind of add in some pipes, maybe some something like that. Um, you know, adding in something like that, maybe even, uh, you know, put in some robotics here. Maybe if we add in kind of this, you know, something like this, and you know, it's got maybe something like that. Maybe we'll add in something else. You know, just even just even something basic. And then make sure that 
you know, we'll get the lighting on there. Uh, but now with this scene set the way it is, I've get broken up the space. I've created something a little bit, a little bit more interesting. And let's add in something like this. Maybe we'll even add some, you know, hanging cables up here. Um, let's see one over here that overlaps. Uh, something like this. So, you know, by doing all this, by, by breaking the elements, now I've got foreground elements, I've got background elements, I've got, you know, I can kind of add in some highlights here, maybe some of this yellow light from here, uh, some interest going on. Um, but now I've got a sense of foreground, middle ground, background. I've, I've sci-fied it up a little bit more. I don't have this this sense of you know everything's primitive shapes uh you know the blocks are getting away you know the, and going away from those solid primitives and things like that um look at how look at uh information on kit bashing and things like that and i think that'll help you out as well um so i think those are things that you want to really go in there and add to kind of develop your your scene a little bit more and then you know accent Let's accent the body shape going on here. You know, something like that. You know, we can accent that body shape. And you can still have that purple jumpsuit body in there. Um, but what you want to do is you want to you want to break it apart so that it it makes more sense um, and and it shows up as as more of an interesting concept. Um, you know, get rid of this this base sci-fi block look and go from what you've got now to, you know, here. I'm just kind of painting some of this stuff out. Let's turn that out. But now I've got, you know, I've got something that makes a little bit more sense of from that standpoint. So, you know, you go from this here to this here and even though it's a quick concept um, it adds more detail more vibrance to your scene all right i hope that helps